There are basically two ways to go about quality real estate photography. One is HDR and the other is multiple off-camera flashes or hot lights. There is a give and take with both of these methods. HDR makes the photo shoot fast, but you will spend a significant time in post-processing. Lighting makes the photo shoot significantly longer, however post-processing is relatively short. Once you figure out which path you want to take, you are ready for the next step, composition. Composition is something that isn't considered much by amateurs. They'll back into a corner and open the lens as wide as it'll go and snap away. This isn't what will give stunning photos. You need to consider the layout of the house, the architecture, and the feeling you want to portray in the photograph. Now that you've taken the photos, you might be thinking that you're all done. You might be close if you've chosen the external lighting route, but if you're doing HDR, this is where all the fun begins. You need to combine all the exposures into one image. Now that the two processes are about at the same place, you'll need to fix the distortion, correct white balance, and any odd color casts. And that's about it. Obviously there is a lot more detail that goes into every step, but hopefully this will give you a basic idea of the more advanced workings of real estate photography. If you're in the Orange County area and would like a professional to photograph your home or listing, please contact me through my website at bradleyfryphotography.com.